Hi uh, everyone, my name is Brian Buckley. I am a senior lecturer in the philosophy department and I just wanted to contribute to the others um, videos and other presentations that you've seen about the life of the lecturer on campus at SCU. Um, so to just give you some idea of maybe some of the things you should think about or consider when you are contemplating the lives of the lecturers and how they are different than say the lives of the tenure track persons. The first and most immediate and most important is pay. Um, that somebody who is brand new on a tenure track position can come to Santa Clara and will make more money than somebody who has been on campus say for 15 years and taught hundreds of classes and advised students and uh, taken part in other kinds of service for the department on curriculum or assessment or climate um, or various uh, uh, committees throughout the university. Uh, that person may have done all of those things for thousands of hours for over 10 to 15 years and yet a new person comes to campus and it may be they're only their second time to campus um, beyond their initial interviews and the minute they walk on campus they make more than that lecturer um, it, it, it based upon what what the university hopes they will do in the future there seems to be an incredible inequity there and unfairness and lack of appreciation uh, n n none of the teachers on campus really get paid well all things considered living in Silicon Valley uh, but when nobody is paid well then every little bit matters. Uh, but it's beyond that. It's also a sense of recognition, which is another thing that's super important from the lecturer's point of view, is that any person, for example, who is a tenure track person could walk into a room and if the room is all full of lecturers, then the person knows immediately as a tenure track person that they are considered of higher rank than everybody in the room. And the rank is not just a matter of uh, somebody's ego or somebody's desire to, um, to have the adulation or the recognition for uh, being, I don't know, special. It's, but it's rather a, a professional designation that matters because it gives you a sense of that what you're doing is recognized and recognizable and recognized. And when you are treated always differently, there's always a sense of, um, uh, even a, even a sense of the, that you absorb that you're different and that you feel that you're different and that maybe you start to recognize or feel that maybe you, you don't contribute as much. Uh, when in fact you do contribute a great deal, especially with regard to teaching and advising. Um, and so w with the lack of pay and, then, um, and the recognition that's on top of that and the different categories, there's always a sense of a lecturer feeling other um, uh, one senior lecturer who's no longer at the university said to me several years ago that one of the reasons he was leaving um, was that he was tired of being considered a second-class citizen at the university. Uh, this is a person who I think at that point had been at the university for 20 years uh, and had taught just dozens and dozens of classes and contributed much to the university, but there was always a sense of uh, being second after the tenure track persons are considered both in terms of pay, in terms of security, um, in terms of budgeting, in terms of voting. Um, for example, um, as a senior lecturer, I don't get a vote on who becomes a tenure track person when a new tenure track person is hired. But a new tenure track person from the previous year who was just hired, they get a vote. So they, they again, could have been brand new to campus, know virtually nothing about the department, and, and be able to vote on who should become the new tenure track person in the future or uh, what what kind of tenure track line um, or... or uh, um, uh, field the department should seek, uh, that person gets to choose that, but the person such as myself who maybe worked deeply on committee uh, curriculum questions, I don't get a vote. How does, try to imagine how that would make you feel. Um, so in terms of uh, representation, safe, or, uh, security, pay, um, and um, a sense of, you know, feeling that your contribution, these are all ways that, and there are many others, that lecturers uh, justifiably 
feel separate. This is not a matter of just complaining. This is a real difference that you are made to feel every day walking onto campus. And, um, and for especially some certain professors who rank uh, is extremely important to them, you will never be their peer. Uh, they will never ask you for advice. They will never consider your opinion to be the same um, as others, no matter how many times you've taught, uh, no matter how much you've contributed. So that tends to weigh on you in a way that you seek recognition. You seek um, you seek somebody to help you, and of course, that's what a union would do. Not only in terms, it, it really in terms of all the things I've listed, in terms of representation because they would be representing you, in terms of pay because they'd be trying to make trying to get you better pay, in terms of uh, security, trying to make sure that that there are certain procedures that the university must go through. Uh, both in hiring you, but also in retaining you, so that you can feel comfortable making decisions, life choices, um, in terms of feeling comfortable that you have a job the next year, and then of course with a with the um, with the union would not come just money and representation, but a sense of of um, of place that, that that with a union it would be that we are all speaking with a voice. And because we're unionized, you have to you have to see us, and you have to take us seriously, and you have to acknowledge all the work that we do, especially with regard to teaching and advising. And so it's for those reasons, those those reasons of the lecturers' lives and some of the, the opportunities that are missed right now and some of the senses of difference, it is for those reasons that a union would be incredibly helpful, I think. Um, and I ask you to... Uh, um, appreciate that uh, those reasons and take them seriously thank you